These guys telling on each other builds up. If you start buying drugs and you have money, you're going to get in with someone. And we were able to buy drugs from all the different gang members. And one gang member would often be with another gang member, so you start making associations. Then, on March 30th, 2007, authorities made their move. More than 100 task force agents took down the Hidden Valley Kings. Those who weren't caught in the dragnet were shocked by what was happening. I'm watching the news. Boom. The Hidden Valley it had in the big letters HBK. The next thing you know, you see all of them getting out the van. They, they call them out. Boom. Now they way to federal court facing 20 years to life. And I'm like, damn, doing 20 years. Damn, I don't know. The Hidden Valley Kings have ruled Charlotte streets for almost a decade. At first, they kept their turf well defended, and the drug money flowed freely. Then, uncontrolled violence brought them unwanted attention from local law enforcement and the FBI. The Hidden Valley Kings had the potential to be some of the largest money makers in the city of Charlotte, and I think their violence got in the way of them making money. In March 2007, 20 members and associates of the HVKs, including their leader, Roscoe Abel, were indicted on multiple drug-related charges, including drug conspiracy and drug distribution. It was one of the biggest gang crackdowns in Charlotte's history. Prosecutors used information from snitches, including video and audio surveillance. It was an open and shut case. I'm ready to go over here. <laughs> 20 members and associates of the HVKs pled guilty and received various sentences. Their leader, Roscoe Abel, was sentenced to 20 years in prison and 50 years of supervised release. There has to be a message there for the younger guys who want to step up and take their places that law enforcement's going to be looking at the activities of this gang. The crackdown has resulted in an almost immediate change in the valley. The residents of this community have been able to come out and actually enjoy their streets again. The officers have definitely noticed a decrease in crime. With having such an insular community, the impact on that community is doubled or tripled when you have such crime in there because it's so endemic to one place. So if you remove some of that criminal element, hopefully the burden on that community is lifted as well. But the HBKs still have power in their hood. I could see a change in the neighborhood, but it, it never stopped. Some former HVK members like Damian Hill, AKA D-Block, see a different message, that they're lucky to still be on the streets. Like Roscoe, I know this dude. I used to date his little sister. I just feel like that could have been me, and easily. That could have been me. I, like I said, I'm just blessed that I, that I was I was aware and I was just conscious of the, of the things I was doing. The gang has also learned something about brotherhood. Your boys will ride with you, shoot with you, but they ain't finna do no time with you. <laughs> Hell no. Some former gang members decided to get out. After years of banging, D-Block began to question his loyalty to the gang after his daughter's birth. And it just changed my life. Like when I had my daughter, my first little girl, that was it. That was it right there. I said I couldn't see myself going through the same thing. Sharon Barnett's wake-up call came when his parents asked him to sign a life insurance policy they took out in his name. They said I want to live to see 22 and I believed that I wouldn't at the rate that I was going. I had just smoked probably an eight ball of dope. I've been going and dugging for three months straight. After I finished, it was a sickness on the inside of me. And something came to me today, I believe to be the voice of God. And it said it's over with. Sharon is now a self-described street soldier working with an organization that helps gang members get off the streets. 
I never went back to the lifestyle, but I went back to my community because I know I was brought out only to bring somebody else out. Charlotte authorities are committed to keeping the peace after decades of ignoring that the city had a gang problem. I could tell you that there are many more Hidden Valley Kings out there. Born and bred all day, being Valley, you know what I'm saying? But also that we will attack the gangs wherever they are. And if they're continuing to commit criminal endeavors, we will be there. They're either going to end up dead or in jail. They're going to be separated from their families, their friends, their kids for a long time. The Hidden Valley Kings say the gang is here for the long haul. Just tell them if they believe in dead. Come over here and chill with us. Well, uh, they might like it. They might want to join the family. We finna take this shot to a whole nother level. We finna take these hidden valley to a whole nother level. Cause kings ain't dead. We still kings, you hear me? And we still out here. They ain't stopping it. From the eighth I level D. I don't think the intention was to, was to be as notorious and as vicious as it is, but what can you expect? We're living in a crazy world. And that's why I say it, every day is getting worse.